Hello everyone, good afternoon, welcome, welcome, welcome to Folk Monday. And can I start by wishing those of you on the other side of the pond a very happy Labour Day. Hope you're all having a nice time. I hope you're not necessarily, well if you are here live you're very welcome, but many of you will be out enjoying a well-deserved day of rest and uh, excitement. And those of us here in the UK, well... <laughs> I think it's fair to say summer's over, folks. Uh, just looking out the window, we are being well laved. There may even be a crack of thunder. Though having said that, the home car effect is in operation because I glance out my window. Bear in mind, it was absolutely bucketing down just a minute ago. I can see blue sky. So uh, maybe we'll get some sun after all. Regardless, everyone, it is fantastic to see you. Hope you all had a really good weekend. And just thanks again to everyone who either made the journey all the way to Stroud on Saturday or has since caught up with our live stream. It was great to see so many people there online and in person. And we had a really, really good sing song. Less said about the rattling bog, the better. Yes, I'm aware I missed out a line. It's conductor's privilege. Now then, today, <laughs> today, we have some beautiful music. I know I say that every time, but it really is. We're going to have Vem kan segla for Ruten Find, which is just the most beautiful Swedish song led by Susanna. Um, we'll then have this Ukrainian song, Oi Kodit Son Kolovikon, uh, which of course we learnt way back there in March of this year. Uh, then a new song today, the Shoshone Love Song. And this one is absolutely fantastic. If you don't know it, it's music by Roger Emerson. It comes from the OUP VoiceWorks books. Uh, I bought the full set, and so I'm able to share to only two subscribers because we have to keep uh, an eye on the PDFs and so on, but we have shared the music for it if you want to sing along in harmony or for those of you who just want to sing the gorgeous tune, I'll teach it to you and the words will be on screen. And then two more cheery, uplifting numbers because those first three are gorgeous, but a little bit on the sad side. So we'll finish off today with Leave Her, Johnny, Leave Her, uh, which, as I'm sure you'll recall, is basically... Uh, a sailor's review of a journey on board ship. And uh, you can guess from the title whether or not they enjoyed the journey or not. And the last one is, of course, Eyes the Bye that builds the boat and Eyes the Bye that sails her. So lots of great tunes today, a couple of sad ones, a beautiful new one, and two to cheer you up and send you off for the rest of your week. Now, I need to check that the sound is working. Good, good, good. So we have our tracks. Here's Vem Can Segli. Should hear some nice. There we are. That's definitely working. Do we have Oi Corded Son? We do. Beautiful song, that. Lovely, lovely song. Thanks again to Jake Alexander and to Christine, uh, who sent me the music for it and recommended it. Lovely, lovely selection, Christine. And then the Shoshone Love Song. Hello, everyone. I shall say hello to you in just a minute. Fabulous to see you all. So, Glenis, the music for Shoshone Love Song is in your email newsletter. Okay, check the newsletter from Anna, which came out last week, and you will see a link in there for the Shoshone Love Song sheet music. We're not allowed to put it here in the YouTube video because it is under a limited license, but we are allowed to share it directly to members. So do please check out that link. Okay, should be a Dropbox link. And we should have leave a Johnny... In a minute. Ah, there we are. And eyes the bye. <laughs> Don't mind telling you, it's one of my absolute favourites. So, we do seem to have everything in order. Oh, I just need to just double check that the cathedral is as it should be. It's actually not too bad after the summer. Thank you, everyone, for looking after it. The place is hoovered. Spotless, they might say. Well, look, lovely to see all of you here today. Now, we'll have lots of people watching later on on Catch Up. Thank you for making Home Choir part of your day. Uh, we are still acquiring subscribers all over the place, which is fabulous, from all over the world. And uh, if you are a new subscriber, you're very, very welcome. If you haven't taken the plunge yet and clicked that button, there's still something like... 30% of people who watch Home Choir regularly aren't yet subscribed. So why not? Make today the day. Click that red button. Don't forget to give us a like if you like what we do. It's just that little thumb 
doesn't cost you anything and makes my day. Hello to everyone who's here uh, live, but not necessarily in the live chats. Lovely to see you all. Hello, as always, to Helen and Bill. Hello to Sally and Annie and to Maureen. Hello to Linda and Anne. Hello to Nikki and Charlotte. Hello to Val. Hello to Huyen. Hello to Katie in Thornbury. Lots of love to all of you. And hello to everyone who's here having a lovely chit chat. Um, and I'll start by welcoming Albert. Hello, Albert. How wonderful to see you. It's been ages. I hope you're very well. Hello, Alison. Hello, Barbara. Hello, Carolyn. Hello, Christine. Hello, Christine. Hello, Colette. Hello, Diane. Hello, Dorothy. Hello, Emma. Hello, Fiona. Hello, Jill. Hello, Glennis. Hello, Guy. Hello to Andrea as well. Hello, Irina. Hello, James. Uh, do give our best love to Judy. Hello, Jane. And hello to Craig. Hello, Jean. Hello, Jenny. Hello, Jill. Hello, Jill. Hello, Kareth. Hello, Kit Kat. Hello, Lisa. Hello, Marion. Hello, Mary. Hello, Michael. Hello, Moira. Hello to Nicola. Hello, Nikki. Uh, hello, Norb. Hello, Ruth. Hello, Shan. Hello, Soraya. Hello, Susanna. I'm sure Terry will be along in a minute, so I shall say all right to her and to everyone. Lots of people talking. I did, did I say hello to Molly? Hello, Molly. Um, lots of people talking about the thunder overnight. We haven't had it yet. I think it's due any minute. So those of you who sent us thunder and lightning down, very, very frightening, thunder and lightning down from up north, well, thanks for that. It's due to hit any minute now. You can just feel it kind of in the air, crackling away. So how's everyone doing? Lots of people. There's Jean. Hi, Jean. Thanking Kit Kat for organising the picnic. No, it was absolutely brilliant fun. And um, yeah, I, I have to say, aside from the fact that you, you chose a beautiful spot in Stroud, gorgeous, gorgeous space outside, but under these enormous trees, only a couple of spiders dive bombing me from uh, several hundred yards up. Um, and uh, you, you put the weather absolutely perfect, absolutely spot on. You know, I, I, two days either side, we'd have been absolutely rained off, but beautifully done, Kit Kat. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome, says Glenn. So thanks for that. <laughs> Lots of people talking about Kit Kat's harp. What a gorgeous instrument that was. And uh, very much, along with uh, Carol's lovely dogs, Bumble and Bee, I think the harp pretty much stole the show on Saturday. And uh, the only thing I have to apologise for, Kit Kat, is I'll be shouting out keys at Kit Kat, and she's furiously changing the levers, because it's not like a piano where you can just shift up. You have to actually physically alter the instrument in order for it to work. Uh, although, I mean, everyone who plays a guitar or, dare I say, a cantile will understand a little bit of the pain what Kit Kat was going through. But it was absolutely brilliant. And uh, we had lots and lots of fun. Susanna, Susanna, you, you really are uh, wired like me. Every time we, there is thunder, she gets sin blitzer, sin donner, in Vulcan verschwunden. Yes. Oh, yes. You don't can't beat a bit of Bach when it comes time for thunder and lightning. I also get Mendelssohn, of course. I also get Elijah playing through my head every time. There's lots and lots of rain. Fabulous. So hello, Susan. Love you to see you. Hope all is well. Hope you are recovering really very well indeed. And lots of love to you. Uh, and Christine's saying, loved seeing the harp. Always that elite instrument. Kit Kat says, thanks for the key changes. You're welcome. It's all part of the service. <laughs> and Albert's saying, so it was, uh, really is an Irish harp. I think it was. Um, and, uh, of course, Albert, you play the lyre, don't you? Lovely instrument, that is. I still remember you sending me some really nice recordings right at the beginning of this epic choir. Hello to Wendy. Good after you. Good afternoon to you. Yes, no, uh, Nikki, indeed, I did have spiders dropping on me from the trees. One point I thought, what, what is that on my neck? And it was a spider. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. These are the things. It didn't stop me from singing, though. It was just a sort of little... Okay, eyes the by the bills the boat, and there's a blooming spider. Anyway, I think we should get started, everyone, because we've got some lovely songs to learn today. Nothing about spiders, don't worry. Um, we're going to learn a new song called the Shoshone Love Song, and in between we're going to sing some uh, Swedish song, a Ukrainian song, and a couple of cheery nautical pieces. So do enjoy. Please make sure you've got everything you need. You know what you need. You need a good drink of water. And you need to keep the chat moving if you're here live. And if you are watching later on, consider leaving us a comment under the video. That all helps promote Home Choir. That all helps push us up the algorithm, which is one of the trickiest things to get into when it comes to YouTube. Please like, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. And let's get started. I'm going to give you today, we're going to sing that lovely Foray Requiem version of Home Choir. So we're going to sing Home Choir. 
already. There's your note, everyone. Here we go. And... Beautiful. Thanks so much, everyone, and welcome to Folk Monday. As I've just been saying, we're going to sing some songs from all around the world today. We've got a song uh, from Sweden. Um, we've got a song from Ukraine. We've got a song from the States. We've got a song from England and a song from Newfoundland. So very much a global program for a global choir. Uh, so do enjoy today. The new song is the Shoshone Love Song. Now I'll have the words on screen. Those of you who are subscribed to the newsletter, please check this week's newsletter for the link, which will take you straight to the sheet music. Now, obviously, as I've been saying for the last few days, this is the only home choir broadcast this week because Anna and I are disappearing off tomorrow for a few days to celebrate our 20th wedding anniversary. And just huge thanks to everyone who sent us kind messages and uh, messages along the lines of, wow, what an achievement. I don't know how she's managed it. I agree. Absolutely. I don't know how she's managed it either. Um, I think she deserves a medal, to be honest, after 20 years with me. But we're going to have a lovely few days and we'll be back then on the 12th of September. So Folk Monday, a week's time, I'll be sat in front of you teaching you a new piece called Follow the Heron, which is by the wonderful singer-songwriter Karine Polwart. It's a gorgeous song and we'll have more beautiful folk music on that Monday. On the 14th, we'll have our first classical teaching session of the new term and we'll learn that lovely Handel trio that I played you at the end of last season for the Lord is gracious which comes from the Utrecht Jubilate it's really really nice those of you who are basses you will have to learn to breathe through your ears for that one because there is an epic bass part uh, but it's lovely and I think everyone will really enjoy that on the 16th of September it will be time to break out the ukuleles or just break them depending on how your families feel about it we're going to learn a song called don't bring lulu and we'll also sing leaning on a lamppost and those of you who've been practicing your ukulele since we played together in the summer be your opportunity to see just how tasty are those fingers now we'll find out won't we and then on sing sunday that week we'll have lots of lovely bach that handle of course and down in the river to pray so lots to look forward to but not until next week all right everyone now do sign up for the newsletter if you haven't done so that's where all the information uh, you want to know about home choir can be found if you've joined us since we sent out the newsletter you can go to our website and all, that's homechoir.org all of the newsletters are archived there and so you can catch up and please do sign up because it helps us know who's there and of course the most important thing is of course we then know when your birthday is so we can sing you happy birthday and we've got some birthdays today if i could ask you to stand up everyone we're going to get warmed up and whilst I do that, and whilst you stand and get to your feet, I shall just glance at the comments and see if we've been joined by Jackie. Hello, Jackie. Hello, Shan. Hello to Amy. Hello to everyone who's joined us since we started the broadcast. It is fabulous to see you. And if we just start by just rolling those shoulders around, I'm just going to glance down here at my birthday list and we can see that it is Naomi's birthday today. And you also have quite a list because, of course, let's roll the shoulders back. It's not just today, you see. I have to sing all the birthdays for everyone whose birthday is, is today, tomorrow, uh, on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So we have a week's worth to get through. Let's bring our shoulders up to our ears. And so we'll have a played live extended happy birthday edition. Breathe out and relax your shoulders. And just roll your head around. Wonderful. And roll those shoulders forwards. Nicholas says, when you strum ukulele, do you strum up or down or just down? Uh, generally up and down. I'll just have to double check that. So this this is suddenly turned into an impromptu ukulele lesson, but somebody asked me a question. I'm a teacher. You strum down with those, and I tend to use my thumb on the way up. There you are. Okay. For more, join me for the ukulele session in a week and a half's time. Anyway, don't ask me any more questions or I'll have to stop and answer them. Let's do a bit of humming, shall we? Here we go. Mm -hmm, and again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lovely. 
that will more than suffice. And now we have to sing happy birthday to some wonderful home choristers who are celebrating their birthdays at some point in the next few days. So it is Naomi's birthday today. We'll then have Jill's birthday on Wednesday along with Barbara. And then it's very small writing here. Then on Friday, it is Lorraine's birthday. And then on Saturday, it's dear Anna's birthday in Portugal, along with Michael. And uh, then it'll be Linda's birthday next Monday. And we'll sing happy birthday to Linda then. So that is, okay, Naomi, Jill, Barbara, Lorraine, Anna, and Michael. Say it with me. Naomi, Jill, Barbara, Lorraine, Anna, Michael. Let's see. Here we go. One, two. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Naomi, Jill, Barbara, Lorraine, Anna, and Michael. Happy birthday to you. Many happy returns to all six of you and your birthdays this week. I hope you have a fantastic time. And thank you, as always, for being wonderful home choristers. Now, everyone, let's have a look at our first song today. And this one, well, this is this is such a beautiful song. And this one has got so much meaning attached to it. The words themselves, Vem can segla furuten wind, ven can ro uten oror. Who can sail without wind? Who can row without oars? Who can leave a parting friend without shedding tears? The second verse, I can sail without wind, I can row without oars, but I can't leave a parting friend without shedding tears. And then in our version, we sing that first verse again at the end. Now, this version was sent to us uh, by our dear Susanna as part of our birthday celebrations in March of this year, when we turned two, very much in the terrible twos at the moment. And then separately, dear Norb, sent us a, uh, a a recording actually his ringtone turns out to be the same tune played by a dear friend of his klaus who very sadly died some years ago on the bassoon okay beautifully played on the bassoon and um we're going to sing the version where i combined the two so you have susanna singing and playing the beautiful finnish cantile you have klaus playing the bassoon some years ago but all combined in the marvels of digital technology and presented to the world in the form of this lovely, lovely song. So let's sing together this gorgeous song all about friendship and how beautiful it is. Here, everyone, Vem can segla for wind.
Thank you, everyone. Huge thanks in particular to Susanna, to Norb for sharing Klaus's playing with us, and to all of you for singing along. What a beautiful song. I, I'm sure you'll agree. That one, I have to tell you, everyone, is high on my list for Sing and Send next year. I just think a home choir rendition in harmony. I think I'll have to do a nice little version in harmony to fit in, not to replace, but to fit in with Susanna and Klaus's performance, I think would be really absolutely stunning. Not a dry eye in the house. Now, let's sing another beautiful song. And the situation in Ukraine, well, I'm sure you were all aware that it's still going on. And it looks like it's going to continue for years to come. And one of the things we have to do as citizens of this earth is to make sure that we don't lose sight of it. It's very easy with the way that our media is set up for us to sort of get bored and move on. And it doesn't seem to appear in the news as often as perhaps it should. So our way of marking what is going on in Ukraine and, by, uh, and respecting and sending all our love to the brave people of that wonderful country is to keep singing their music. Now we are going to learn the gorgeous Shedrick next year. I want to leave enough time between Choir of the Earth having learnt it and us doing it. But there are some other lovely Ukrainian songs that we'll be learning later this term and next year as well as our way of just making sure that uh, we keep singing this lovely music. Now this one was sent to us. This is an arrangement by uh, Jake Alexander, who is a fantastic choral leader uh, in South London. Sorry, South London, as I should say it properly. Uh, and he arranged this back in March. Um, oddly enough, almost exactly on our uh, our birthday, everyone. And the words translate, this is a phonetic version. The words translate as the dream passes by the windows and sleep by the fence. The dream asks sleep, where should we rest tonight? The second verse, where there is a warm house, where there is a tiny child, there we will go to spend the night and rock the baby to sleep. May the cat purr and the child sleep, the little cat will purr and the baby will sleep. This, everyone, is Oi Koiditson. Here are your notes. Here we go, everyone. Nice deep breath and... haunting and very lyrical piece thanks again to jake alexander if you go to his website jakealexander.org you can find a link to that and he's very very generously given these copies away for free you do have to buy them from choircommunity.org um, but there is no charge you can get as many copies as you like put it into the basket 
click checkout. It's quite a nice feeling actually buying 500 copies of something that doesn't cost anything. That being said, if you are going to use his music with your face-to-face -face choirs, and I really would recommend you do consider making a donation to UNICEF uh, for their Ukraine fund. Thanks ever so much, everyone. Isn't that lovely? Now, speaking of lovely, the new song for today. It's by Roger Emerson, who is an American uh, singer, songwriter, arranger. I've done quite a few of his pieces over the years. He's done some great arrangements of show tunes, uh, and he did an arrangement of Mary Poppins Returns, which I did with one of my other choirs, but we won't hold that against him. Um, so <laughs> we're going to learn the Shoshone love song. Now, these lyrics are translated from the original Shoshone language, and the music is uh, is very kind of up-to-date, but absolutely lovely. So for those of you who have the scores, um, you're going to need... It's just the one page of this, and I'm just going to get my score up here as well. Now, remember... We can't share this in the YouTube description, everyone. I'm really sorry about that. This is being provided on a limited license by OUP, who sell oops, who sell these wonderful books. Again, I don't get commission, but I probably should. These VoiceWorks books, which contain lots and lots and lots of lovely songs. I've bought the complete set, uh, which is about 250 songs. And uh, you can photocopy them as many times as you like once you have bought the book. So we're going to do quite a few of their lovely arrangements. Now, this one. It starts off like this. Lovely, sort of tinkly little introduction. And it goes. Fair is the white star of twilight And the sky clearer at day's end Okay, listen to that tune again. Two, three, two, three. The only difference here, those of you reading the harmony, will see that the tenors and basses sing at the end. Although if you want to go down, clearer at day's end, I think that'll work. Let's sing together. Fair is the white star of twilight. And make star particularly bright and sparkly for me. One, two, three. Fair is the white star of twilight. And the sky clearer at day's end. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Now, the next line is exactly the same. You sing it again with the option of some harmony. And I am going to very quickly go through the harmonies for those of you that are either going to learn by ear or have the music. Now, it's the same words. The alto sings. Fair is the white star. Listen. Let's sing that together. Two, three. Fair is the white star of twilight. Excellent. And then you sing. And the sky clear at day's end. Listen to that. One, two, three. Excuse me. And the sky. One, two, three. And the sky clear at day's end. Fabulous. Now, just to say in the words clearer. Now, here, we here in the UK sing clearer. And the sky clearer at. Just doesn't sound right. Clear, clear. Okay, let's have that slightly American sound. Roll the. I'll row the tip of the tongue towards the back of the mouth. And the sky clearer at day's end. I just think it sounds nicer than clearer at day's end. I don't know what you think. Well, let's let's agree to disagree if you disagree with me. Now, uh, the bass part from Fair Is is Fair is the white star of twilight. Listen again. Two, three. Two, three. And then we sing, and the sky clearer at day's end. Sing with the tens of basses. And the sky clearer at day's end. Let's sing together, everyone. Fair is the white star of twilight for the second time. Basses here, altos, sopranos. One, two, three. We're so 
nearly done, everyone. It's such a short piece, but so lovely here. Now, sopranos. So we sing. But she is fairer. She is dearer. Again, we've got to be careful not to go fairer, dearer. She is fairer. She is dearer. Okay, and that lovely little tune. Think, think your cellos at that point. But she is fairer. She is dearer. And the last line. She, my heart's friend. With me. She, my heart's friend. Excellent. Now let's quickly learn the alto part for that. So it is. But she is fair. She is dear. Grow through those long notes, okay? Really milk this for all it's worth. And then she my heart's friend with me. She my heart's friend. Isn't this lovely? And then finally, last but not least. The basses, we sing, as his tenors as well. But she is fairer, she is dearer, she my heart's friend. And you get the third of the chord. Let's sing that together, tenors and basses. But she is fairer. One, two, three. But she is fairer, she is dearer. She, my heart's friend. And you always smile on that last chord. Now, I think we've got just about enough for everyone to sing it through all the way. Uh, there was a second verse as well, exactly the same music, just with these different words you can see on screen. First, the white star of twilight and the moon clearer at day's end. Actually, is that right? And the moon roving to sky's end. Now, you see this. Bear with me a minute. Ha <laughs> ha. This is why we always double check these things. Roving to sky's end. And you know, no, that's not how you write it either. This is how you can tell it's a live broadcast, everyone. There we go. You didn't see anything. That was just, uh, that was just a little bit of something. Now, so in the moon, roving to sky's end, but she is fairer, more worth loving. She, my heart's friend, and we do that bit again. Let's sing it all the way through. Uh, this is an arrangement I did uh, about a year and a half ago, and I'm really pleased to share it with you today. So everyone, the Shoshone Love Song by Roger Emerson. Do enjoy. Here we go. Are we ready? One, two, three. Fair is the white star of twilight And the sky clearer at day's end Deep breath
there you go, everyone. Isn't that lovely? So that is the Shoshone love song. Lots of people saying, oh, that's nice. All oh, sing and send. Well, there we are. Well, that would make a great sing and send sometime next year. Believe you me, the, the list gets longer and longer. It's almost like, I don't know, it's almost like I choose music that you like. You, know, you never know. You never know. Well, look, let's move on. Let's sing something in the nautical vein with a bit more of a sort of up-tempo feel. We're going to sing Leave Her, Johnny, Leave Her, uh, which I say is a little bit like a Yelp review of a rather unsuccessful voyage. Uh, you know, this is very much the sailors talking as they're leaving the ship. Her refers to the ship, of course, and they haven't had the best time. Sing with me, everyone. Here is Leave Her, Johnny, Leave Her. <laughs> Oh, the times are hard and the wages are low Leave her, Johnny, leave her But now once more ashore we'll go And it's time for us to leave her Leave her, Johnny, leave her Oh, leave her, Johnny, leave her For the voyage is done and the winds don't blow And it's time for us to leave her What I heard the captain say, leave her, Johnny, leave her. Tomorrow we will get our pay, and it's time for us to leave her. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. Oh, leave her, Johnny, leave her. For the voyage is done and the winds don't blow, and it's time for us to leave her. It's getting worse, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Oh, the rats have gone and it's for the crew Leave her, Johnny, leave her It's time, me boys, that we went to And it's time for us to leave her Leave her, Johnny, leave her Oh, leave her, Johnny, leave her For the voyage is done and the winds don't blow To leave her It's like the weather outside the window Here we go Oh, the winds were foul and the work was hard Leave her, Johnny, leave her From Liverpool docks to Brooklyn Yard And it's time for us to leave her Leave her, Johnny, leave her Oh, leave her, Johnny, leave her For the voyage is done and the winds don't blow For us to leave her Leave one more turn and around she goes Leave her Johnny, leave her Or each man Jack will kick up his toes And it's time for us to leave her Leave her Johnny, leave her Oh, leave her Johnny, leave her For the voyage is done and the winds don't blow And it's time for us to leave her I suppose my final comment would be the winds were foul and the trip was long Leave her, Johnny, leave her But before we'll go, we'll sing our song And it's time for us to leave her Leave her, Johnny, leave her Oh, leave her, Johnny, leave her For the voyage is done and the winds don't blow And it's time for us to one more time Leave her, Johnny, leave her Oh, leave her, Johnny, leave her for the voyage is done and the winds don't blow And it's time for us one more Leave her, Johnny, leave her Oh, leave And the winds don't blow And it's time for us to leave her Overall, one star out of ten would not recommend Avoid if possible Well, there we are, everyone I said it was a bit more up-tempo. People were saying, is this up-tempo? Definitely. Definitely. Puts a spring in your step having a good old complaint. You know what I mean? <laughs> Feels good to get that sort of weight off your chest. I don't know about you. When I've had all these experiences in life, when things go well, it's, it's lovely. When things don't go well, it's like, right, letter of complaint. Dear sir or madam, why, oh, why, oh, why? Well, look, 
Before you start writing your letters of complaint that I'm talking too much, let's finish with one more song today, which is Eyes the Buyer That Builds the Boat. And this one, of course, was sent to us by dear Julie. Thank you, Julie. Not just for that, but for all you do in supporting Sing and Send. Um, this is such a great choir, and so many people give so much of their time uh, and help us out with so many things. So thank you, all of you, everyone out there who has helped us with anything over the last two and a half, nearly coming up three years. Bless you all. Thank you for everything you do. Now, we're going to finish today with this fabulous song, and then I'll see you in a week. Okay, now you might be thinking, but what are we going to do, Ben, with, a, with no, nothing to do for a week? Well, first of all, if you're in Choir of the Earth, join me at five o'clock tonight for a very, very special performance as we talk about, well, not performance even, I'm going to perform. We're going to talk about the music coming up over the next year. And then, well, you deserve a week off because, goodness me, we did bombard you with a lot of home choir over the summer. So do have a look if you really want to. Have a look for a broadcast you haven't seen, but otherwise, have a good week, everyone. And let's finish with Eyes the Bye. Here we go. Ah. Eyes the bye and the builds the board, and eyes the bye and the sounds her, and eyes the bye that catches the fish and brings them home to lies her. If your partner Sally Tebow, if your partner Sally Brown, folk are twilling at Martin's Harbor all around the circle. Sods and rice to cover your flake And cake and tea for supper And codfish in the spring of the year Fried in maggoty butter Get your partner Sally T. Bow Get your partner Sally Brown Fog a twilling and Martin Sabre All around the circle I don't want your maggoty fish That's no good for winter And I can buy as good as that Down in Bona Vista Get your partner Sally T. Bow Get your partner Sunny Brown, a fog of twilling and Morton Sabre all around the circle. I took Liza to a dance and faith and she could travel and every step that she would take up to her knees in gravel. Hip your partner Sunny T. Bow, hip your partner Sunny Brown, a fog of twilling and Morton Sabre all around the circle. First verse again. Eyes are by the bills the board, and eyes are by the sails her, and eyes are by the catches the fish and brings them home to lies her. Hit your partner Sally T. Bow, hit your partner Sally Brown, fog and twilling in Morton's Harbor all around again, please. Hit your partner Sally T. Bow, hit your partner Sally Brown, fog and twilling in Morton's Harbor all one more time. Hit your partner Sally T. Bow. Hip your partner Sunny Brown, fog and swelling and Morton's Harbor all around the circle. Fabulous stuff. Give yourselves a round of home choir applause, everyone. Where is it? Where's the applause? No applause. Well, I'll give you a round of applause anyway. The button just went no. <laughs> well done, everyone. Fabulous stuff and so great to see you. And I'm so looking forward to seeing you in a week's time. But in the meantime, I hope you all have a good one. If it's your birthday this week, well, lots of love to you. Hope you have a really, really good one. Some of you I'll see later on at five o'clock. Otherwise, we will be back in a week with more lovely folk music. Have a listen again to that Shoshone love song, okay? It is absolutely gorgeous. If you didn't have a chance to sing it properly with the harmony, rewind the stream, watch that bit again, because we'll be singing these songs a lot, I think, these, this term. I'm sure you'll agree it's lovely. So take care, everyone. See you in a week. Be good. Try and make sure the cathedral doesn't burn down. All right, look after the place. And I'll, I'll see you after a good week. All the rest, folks. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>